Hi, my name is Emily Barreto, ANZ QuickSight Specialist. Today I'm lucky enough to be joined by Paul Miller, co-founder and CEO of Insightful Mobi. Today we're going to talk about who Insightful Mobi is, as well as their journey to Amazon QuickSight and providing their customers with data at their fingertips to enhance productivity. Paul, it's great to have you here. Thanks, Emily. Are you able to give me a little bit of background about who you are and who Insightful Mobi is? I'm Paul Miller. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Insightful Mobi. Um, Sightful Mobi uh, is a business that does CRM tools for consumer goods companies, uh, as well as broker and brokers and distributors. And we're based in, in New Zealand, uh, and we're nine years old. Um, and what's your vision for your company? So the vision for the company is to um, try and make the experience of, of sending people into stores a lot easier and more managed and more valuable. Um, so. Lots of companies have got people going in every day to supermarkets um, and into uh, different types of retail outlets. It's, the problem has been managing those people and, and getting the most out of their time. And for, from, their, from the staff's perspective, to make sure that they know what they're doing and they can get value out of that time. So I think we have some video footage here of customers actually in store, Paul. Are you able to elaborate on those types of customers that you work with and I guess the problem that you're solving for them? Sure. Um, so, so the video you're looking at at the moment is a rep that's going into uh, one of the supermarkets in New Zealand, um, doing all the usual, uh, initially walking around the store, seeing what's going on in that store and, and then seeing uh, what are the things that should be happening in that store, promotions, um, pricing, um, position of products, uh, making sure displays are set up properly, uh, and then reporting that back. So that goes back to the back office people. And then in 2021, you migrated um, to Amazon QuickSight, embedding that within your application. How did you discover QuickSight? Oh, it was actually through, there was a social media advertisement, um, QuickSight came along. It was pretty timely because we had customers getting a bit uh, grumpy with the functionality that we had within the product and they wanted more advanced dashboards and things that they could um, jump into that looked like some of the tools that they were seeing on their desktops uh, and um, I thought well this would be great um, and went and, and, and downloaded some, some, a demo version of it uh, and then um, had a play around with that for a few weeks time. My biggest challenge was trying to convince our CTO who <laughs> was uh, pretty happy with the product their customers didn't like. Yeah. Uh, and um, we basically, after three weeks, uh, QuickSight ended up being the product that made sense. I was able to do it all myself, okay. not a developer. Um, so, so if I could do it, I thought, well, of course the business can do it. And the rest is history. It's now part of our product. What were some of the benefits you had from your customer side as well as for your organisation? So from a customer perspective, uh, the product um, has been much easier to use. Uh, it, the look and feel it was much more logical. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a huge amount of training for the customers to get the most out of the product. And it was really, really fast. It was serverless, so we didn't have to throw a lot of money at it, uh, but the customers could get the benefit of something that was quick. Okay. And how did that work, I guess, internally in terms of building those dashboards? Did you see any benefits from a productivity side for your business? Sure. Um, yes. The, the, with the old tools, it needed uh, an advanced developer to sit and build the tools using the traditional uh, programming environment to do that. Uh, but with QuickSight, uh, we could just get a business analyst uh, to um, listen to the customer, what's the report that they want, and then actually build the report. And they could go from instead of it taking two to three weeks with the old model with mm -hmm. the developer doing it, um, the business analyst could put that together in a day. Wow. Uh, and so it meant the customer got the report really quickly, yeah. uh, any iterations could quickly be done uh, and um, we had a much better level of report out of it. And how did that work from a costing perspective um, in terms of you incurring that cost as your business is also growing? Yeah. Well that, that's been one of the biggest areas of benefit to our business. Mm. Um, the, what, what's changed is that instead of having to prepay for a whole environment, uh, we went to a more of a user model mm -hmm. where as users needed the product, uh, we paid for a user basis rather than paying for the whole environment, whole server and all the software up front. So it's meant that as, as we've grown the need for dashboards, 
um, for, and with customer demand, we've been able to add extra users and only pay when we add those users. That's great. Um, we do have some more footage of your customers using your embedded QuickSight dashboard. Anything you'd like to add, Paul? This is the typical back office setup where customers uh, are going in, they're reviewing what's gone on the field. Uh, hopefully they're seeing the products they've spent all their money on uh, promoting actually on the shelf and seeing the results that they need. So this might be a marketing team or a sales operations team. So in, in this example, it's a sales operations team. Uh, and they're going through the QuickSight reports, drilling down to the data they want to see. Just to finish off, what are your plans for the future? What's next? How are so, you looking to enhance your offering? Yeah, well, um, QuickSight uh, has really given us an edge in terms of being able to generate pretty much any types of reports that we want. We're really excited about some of the business, and uh, some of the machine learning and AI that we can do with that. Mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately, we're limited to what the customers want to do with the, with the reports themselves. Uh, and we haven't had any barriers so far, so we can pretty much do anything we want. Um, the challenge is what do the customers want uh, and what ideas can we come up with to mash up the data and come up with even more vision about how those customers can improve what they do in stores and in the field. Awesome, looking forward to seeing you continue to evolve. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Really appreciate it, Paul. Thank you.